103. Let's get to the fourth and final Avengers film as of now, which is Avengers Endgame. Came out in 2019. Once again, directed by Anthony and Joe Russo. Stars essentially the same cast as Infinity War. The synopsis is, After the devastating events of Avengers Infinity War, the universe is in ruins. With the help of remaining allies, the Avengers assemble once more in order to reverse Thanos' actions and will restore balance to the universe. So considering this was, as the title is, it is the end game, the final coming together moment, and after a decade of movies and stories, this was like the ultimate culminating event for basically all of moviegoers at the time. And even though I didn't love Infinity War, I was like, I have to see this movie as soon as it comes out. So I was there day one. And right off the bat, I've seen it five, six times, I think at least now. And right off the bat, when I saw it, I loved it. I thought it was very much superior. And I still think it is superior to Infinity War. It is one that while, yes, you do carry everything, you need to have seen the majority of other things to have this movie make sense, which maybe some outsiders would call that criticism of the movie. It is nevertheless, having just rewatched it in the last couple of days, still such a well-balanced, emotionally gripping and touching, funny, well-paced, good action, well-written, well-acted, three-hour blockbuster that is able to take 10 years of catalog stories and characters and have basically every single person get some sort of moment. And so I think it is still an amazing movie. It holds up fully for me. And I think I was a little worried since I hadn't watched it for a while if it was going to just be a slog or whatever else. I think even if I haven't gone back and watched the majority of the previous installments, which I hadn't, I think that this still stands on its own. If you know enough, you can just watch this on its own and really, really enjoy it. And you get to see all the characters you love, spend plenty of time in that world. So I think it is a fantastic, very impressive blockbuster, even now. Like, it's one of the best of recent years. Talking about, though, specific scenes, because there is so much. The opening sequence with Hawkeye, I think that's a great moment where suddenly his family's gone and then cuts to. So I think that's a great opening to the movie. The stuff with Iron Man being rescued by Captain Marvel is good. And that moment, which is a great Downey Jr. performance moment, is where he's saying to Cap, I lost the kid. And that whole tie-in from Infinity War with Spider-Man, like very touching start and how beaten down and lost Iron Man is since he feels like he failed everyone and lost everyone. So it really does somehow through direction, through writing, everything, that tone of getting very sincerely emotional, sad, drama, grief, loss, all that stuff. And then having scenes like the stuff with Thor in wherever that is, Iceland or wherever else, and he's super fat and looks like a melted ice cream cone and all that stuff with Rocket and all that, like very, very well balanced. And I still don't know how they managed to pull that off. But going back to the Thor stuff, that stuff is one of my favorite sequences in the movie where Thor is completely beaten down and become a drunk and they have to try and recruit him back. And that's a very, very funny, uplifting moment in the movie. The stuff with Paul Rudd suddenly waking up and finding his family there is very touching. And then getting into the main crux of the movie, the going back in time to the different points in the MCU, like the Avengers, New York sequence, all those others. I think that is so cleverly done. And it's something that you could call in theory, like it could be lazy, it's just repetitive, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, which so many movies have tried to do and failed. But this one, how they shoot it, whether it's, I don't know exactly how they did it, maybe that's a compliment, but how they shot it where there are these new perspectives on the same scenes that we are familiar with and getting new 
twists and turns and trying to change things and not trying to change it. Like it really flows so well and it's so much fun getting to revisit all of those things that some things I had forgotten, some things I hadn't, but in full form and all together. So I think those chunks and how they cut back and forth, very well done. The sequence with Captain America fighting himself, love that. Bruce Banner, or I guess he's the Hulk in this, where he's basically just become a celebrity staying as the Hulk. I think that's awesome. And taking the selfie, I love that sequence at the diner. And then Captain America and Iron Man sort of putting the past behind him and teaming up. And the time travel stuff is really funny where Paul Rudd comes back as different ages of himself. So it's the world building, the confidence, and the playfulness and ability to ground a lot of these feelings in a fairly understandable scenario, or not understandable, but relatable way where people are dealing with grief and Captain America is doing this support group, you know, and trying to find a way to move on and pretty much restart the world. So I honestly don't have any complaints really at all. I think the only thing that's a little, and I think people have made memes and stuff about it, The only thing that is a little maybe overdone, a little goofy is, and maybe I'm missing something. I've seen it enough now to where I feel like I'm not. Maybe I still am. Sorry. But the stuff with Hawkeye where he's in Japan just killing people, trying to figure out what's happened and getting revenge, it seems a little random. And then he's like in Mexico, I think, and stuff. It just seems a little, what? Uh, That just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So. If I'm missing something, let me know in any of the comment sections or social media. Sorry if I'm acting stupid there, but that's something that I'm always thinking, wait, why are you doing that? Why did you travel all the way here to kill these people for your family and all that? So if I had to point out anything, very small thing, but that's one little nitpick. But otherwise, it's still amazing. As I said, the final moments with Iron Man are great. And that's really where it all does come together and the funeral. And you see basically every single person in Hollywood attending with all those characters. That's awesome. So it'll always be a favorite of mine. Maybe top five Marvel movies for me, but it's definitely up there no matter what. And I think I'll always, as many do, probably have that fondness for what it was able to accomplish and all those feelings I was able to evoke and still be a great movie. You know, it didn't just pander, in my opinion, at least. And as always, let me know your thoughts. I will be doing more Marvel franchises and series and stuff in the weeks, months to come. And if there are any that you want to see reviewed, specifically reviewed or talked about more, let me know in any way through the information in the show notes, the contact stuff. So let me know. would love to hear from you. Yeah, that one is a heavy five out of five.